Hey there folks, today we're going to be showing you how to depressurize your fuel system when you need to work on fuel lines or anything within your fuel system. So we're going to show you two different methods. One is by pulling the fuel system relay and the other is by using a scan tool. So first one, we're going to pull the relay here. We're going to go to our fuse box and then depending on your specific vehicle, you find your relay. So ours is right here. I'm going to start the engine and then while it's running, I'm going to pull this relay. I'll shut off the fuel pump and then that'll depressurize the system. All right, so engine has fuel right now. We're just going to pull this relay out and you'll hear it start to slow down RPM and then conk out. All right, so now we're gonna just show you the test port on our fuel rail, just to make sure and validate that the system is depressurized. So we have our test port right here. We're gonna put some cloths under it and we're just gonna push the valve, make sure it's actually depressurized. And you see just a little bit of residual comes out, but that was just what was in the line. Now it's depressurized, nothing in that line. It is safe to work on. So next, we're going to show you the scan tool method. Before we show you that scan tool method, obviously it goes without saying, take your key out of your ignition and we're going to put this back into place where we found it. And we're going to go in and just prime the fuel. All right, so to prime the fuel back up, we're not going to turn the engine on. We're just going to cycle the key to the on position and you'll hear the pump start to pressurize and then just to make sure everything's working okay start it up now once you hear the whirring so now we're repressurized everything's all good in the lines after you've done your service this is what you'll do so now we're going to shut it off and get the scan tool out all right, so we're using our King Bowl and K7 here. So we're just going to scan the vehicle to initiate the menu that we need. So we're gonna go auto search, it'll VIN search for us, and then we'll show you the menu that you need to go to. All right, so we go to the marketing region that we're in. Then we're gonna to go to system selection. We want our ECM, because that's where all the fuel is. So, you select what you're equipped with. We don't have any start stop. We have an automatic transmission. Now we go to actuation test down here. Go to fuel system. And we go to depressurize fuel system. Now it tells us to start the engine. So we're gonna go do that. Now we have our command state here under the depressurization wall, we'll switch off. So you hear the RPM go down and it start to tremble. Now it's depressurized. Again, we're just gonna show you in our fuel test port right there. So again, be prepared for just a small amount to come out. Now we're depressurized and you're good and safe to work on the fuel lines and fuel system. All right, so the only difference for priming and repressurizing with the scan tool method, we wanna make sure we go back to on. And then you release control. So now there is no command to the scan tool. We're just going to repressurize with the key the same way. All right, once your pump is repressurized, you're gonna start it back up. All right, so that's all there is to it, folks. Hopefully you found this helpful. As always, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Stay safe while you're working on the fuel lines. Don't light up a smoke just yet. Wear gloves and safety glasses. We'll see you on the next one.